You are listening to the No Invite Podcast. Season three. The progression. The progression. Follow us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast or look us up on YouTube at No Invite Podcast. The best kept secret. Bang, we in this thing, no invite podcast, episode, uh, season three, episode 62, believe it or not, or 63, excuse me, excuse me, y'all, per, uh, your boy's a little <laughs> dyslexic, you know what I'm saying? So pardon me if I, if I don't get it right, but yes, episode 63, and, and we on the Zoom, you know what I'm saying? Because all we want to do is Zoom, 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 you know what I'm talking about? Hey, people, <laughs> I, I, I kind of touched some hearts with that little comment about, about, about you know, uh, people's mamas and aunties being in freak nick, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cracking it open to that Rex in effect. So shout out but to they everybody. Know that's how they got here. You know exactly, exactly. A lot of these cats, you, you know, they 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 they're about that age. You know, they're like born in the '90s and stuff like that, early '90s, and they're looking at these old pictures of moms with her hand on her hip. You know what I'm saying? Doing the old school OG <laughs> pose. Like yeah, you know what your, yeah, you know what your mom was doing. <laughs> Daisy Dukes on and shit. So just don't ask, no questions. But uh, how you doing? We got the best kept I'm, secret. I am doing amazing. I'm in kind of Christmas mode right now. So it's like, stay out of my room. I don't want y'all touching nothing. Don't come in here. Don't look at nothing because it's like toys and gifts and stuff. Is it getting nerve wracking yet or what? Uh, you, today it was, I realized online ordering is going to be my friend because I went into Walmart thinking it was just gonna be a quick, like, in and out, nope. Then I had to go to Burlington, thinking I could just get, like, a quick pair of pants, nope. I said, oh, I'm done Christmas shopping if I gotta physically go into anywhere. And and what's crazy is that, um, since it's like a lot of shortage on shit, mm-hmm. you know, sales, remember that? At, what, at, people were doing like 10% off of Black Friday and stuff, you seen that shit? Man, the Black Friday sale was not, a, but I've been saying Black Friday is not a real sale. What they do is they increase the price right before Black Friday, and then yeah. they give you the discount that still makes it the regular price. Ain't nobody yeah, yeah. playing with them. Yeah, but the and, sales and, were trash. Yeah, they said even then it's like they ain't giving much of that either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, real talk, man. It, I, Christmas, I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't, I ain't even started yet my Christmas shopping. For me though, I only have a handful of people to shop for. So I, I feel like I could, if I do it right, I think I can knock it out with like in one or, in one or two trips, like one trip specifically for one person, or at least like, you know, most of it in one trip. And, uh, you know, if I could do that, then I'm gonna be in good shape. I'm not trying to get, um, I'm not trying to get too behind though. Cause like, like how we were saying right now, you know, with this, with this, uh, all this shit that's going on, it's like, you never know. You might just pull up to the, to the mall and then be nothing there. And then shipping mm-hmm. too. Shipping's gonna start being crazy. I'm, I, I actually ship. Well, some shipping shit, uh, is already bad. Already because Remember, of pandemic. shipping was already bad because of COVID. Yeah, and they were already delaying stuff. So it's already bad. Now it's just it's like ugh, it's just a mess. Yeah, it's it's definitely mainly right now. I'm, I'm looking at the news and shit, and they talking about chicken nugget shortage. Not chicken nugget, chicken strip <laughs> shortage. I'm so, I'm so serious. <laughs> You think it's a fucking joke and they, they, they're probably just fucking with us, you know what I mean? Trying to raise the price on some shit, but it's like more and more often you're seeing that kind of stuff. And I'm just like, I don't know if they're trying to raise the prices on stuff and really don't have a way of doing it. So they're going to come up with these fucking supply chain issues and shit like that. Or if, if it's really that drastic, you know, but I don't understand. It's like they said supply chain issues. I thought that was stuff off the coast coming from overseas, right? But I don't, but, so. but, but aren't like the chickens and the chicken stuff that we buy in it from like out here? No, not always. I mean, I'm not always, but the majority of it is from out here. Yeah, that we buy. It's, like the majority of the, it's local. It's maybe not so much here, but like from the U.S. You do know what I'm saying? So how the fuck the chickens is short if, if we got chickens out here running around and Man, shit. Man, and they raising chickens in like five days. Have you ever watched that show about like farming? If you go on Netflix, there's a show it's called, um, Oh my God, I forgot the name of it. But when I think of it, I tell you. But they show you how they put steroids inside the water of the chicken and they're growing full, they're taking chickens from being babies to full grown in like 10 days. And they grow in so rapidly that the chickens can't even stand up because of the fact that their legs have not um, gained the strength to carry that, that body weight. So we shouldn't be on a shortage of chickens. No, fuck that. That alone right there make you want to not fucking fuck with the chicken though, like... <laughs> 
Real talk, it, it, it's crazy what they do, man. Uh, and, and and when you tell me this shit, I know I've heard it before, but it's just like hearing it again from somebody else and bringing it back up. It's like, it, it, it's really real, you know what I mean? And you can't just forget about this shit and act like it ain't nothing happening, you know? But um, It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. You know what I mean? A lot of a lot of these bitches out here, you know, they look like they can't pick up their own body neither, you know what I'm saying? Just because their legs be hella fucking... <laughs> no, because... The reason why I was saying this, like, I, I was like, we were the other day, we we're out and about walking around, and I thought leg day was only like a dude thing. You feel me? You know how they make fun of dudes that don't do leg day, hella, hella big upper body and buff, but their legs right. like sticks. You See, thought this, that was just a man thing? Nah, cause I, yeah, I thought it was just a man thing. I mean, I know girls work out and shit, but I didn't realize that when when they really don't do their legs, it's like you can fucking see it. Like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I mean, you learn something new oh. every day. The show, the show is called Super Size Me. I'm sorry, I had to find the name of it. Super Size Me Two, and they talk about the 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 chicken industry. Oh, it'll shit. make you not, it'll make you want to become a vegetarian. Man, I feel you. I really, I, to be honest with you, I'm open for that. I would be a vegetarian, but I don't know enough recipes to cook. So it's just like y'all. I get, I'll get bored. You feel me? Real fast. Next thing you know, I'm not only do I fall off the, uh, I fall off the fucking the the vegan shit. I probably fall heavy back into eating chicken and be I like <laughs> overdo it. You know what I mean? Like once right. I go back, it's like it's like you missed it and you go. Because I've tried doing vegan. And I've tried doing like you know, minimal amounts of, of meats and shit like that, but shit hard, man, because you got to really be creative with that. You got to know a lot of shit to cook in order for you to give off that, 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 what you've been missing, you know, because we're, mm-hmm. we're programmed for this shit. We're used to it, but uh, we're going to keep it moving, you know, knowing by podcasters what the fuck we do. We got the here and now jumping off. And the first topic for the here and now is basically uh, researchers in the university and in university because you know it's the and then university so yeah i don't want nobody coming for me with that bullshit because i got it wrong but <laughs> yeah i'm saying so um university of vermont designed a 0.04 inch computer designed organism from the stem cells of african clawed frogs and basically what they're saying is these robots that they created now this organism is now able to reproduce <laughs> See, that's some bullshit. Like, <laughs> yeah. it's just straight bullshit. Like, so you telling me something electronic is going to reproduce? Are you telling me that you're creating whole other things that you have no control over and you don't know what it could do? What if that's like the next fucking Isn't virus? Isn't that what they did? I was just about to say, ain't that what they did with COVID? And look, they couldn't control it. What What is that movie? Um, I, Robot. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be like. The world is gonna be like iRobot, and oh. they're gonna be making us sit in the house. We ain't gonna be able to go nowhere. They're gonna have the red light on the front of their chest. Bro, they're gonna you be see, sitting at your door. Did you see that video of the robot that they're programming? It's supposed to be an AI robot, and it looks like it takes its first breath. Right? Yes. And, and you talking about the one where a- they have to get the woman's face to patent it? No, this is a different one. This one is super really. It looks just like iRobot. It's it's been everywhere on the thing. So when you get a chance, I'll send you some links. But uh, okay. that, that's another thing. They were they're showing in China uh, that they're programming this robot and its eyes are closed. Same kind of face like iRobot. Picture that face. You know, it's sitting there and it's just it's got its eyes closed and they're messing with the shoulder and all of a sudden it's like <gasps> it goes like this and it has this shock face. It's so fucking scary and it starts looking around and it's like this and then. It looks at his hands like, what the fuck is going on? It looked like it was just being born right there. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like some weird That's shit. That's so horrible. That's crazy. See, the problem with them doing that, right, is once when you create stuff that you don't fully understand and you don't know its limits, mm-hmm. it's going to teach you better than it can actually tell you that you need to just stop fucking around, like leave shit well enough alone. When stuff like that start happening, I really do get like scared and nervous because like I said, all these movies that they make, iRobot and Terminator and all that stuff, all of the movies are designed from something. It's either something that they either thought of, something that they designed in, something that they working on. But if you look at a lot of these movies, there's always a negative, like something negative happens in this shit. And it's just like, if you really start creating stuff, like just imagine, right? Uh, could you imagine fucking a robot? What kind of like, robot? Like, what if they really designed it to- Is she super just... thick? <laughs> well, but then the question becomes, can the robot even get wet? You gotta use a lot of lube. Like, there's a bunch of different questions that go with it. And they could be a power thick robot. What if she really is like a power thick robot? And you like, oh, 
how the hell like that it's just weird I, it, it's, it's just it's it, it is weird and it's weird to think about what they're actually going to be using this shit for as we move along in the future mm-hmm. and the shit gets perfected you know um the, i don't i mean the robots gonna start having rights watch just watch they gonna start having rights like <laughs> well, it, it, so it, start, it starts up that conversation of what is um what is what's it called what is considered life you know what i mean it's gonna it's exactly. gonna be it's gonna be and 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 it, it's it's wild for me because the first of all it's like they're creating an organism first of all that's on a microscopic level so it's like now you're creating shit that cannot be easily detectable from naked eye and what is the fucking point of it i'm sure they're gonna be like oh to get down and fight this disease or fight that disease at a microscopic level i feel like humanity and we just create a problems and then we create stuff to fix those problems and then those things that we create to fix those problems cause another set of problems if you think about it there isn't much that a human has created that hasn't had a negative impact on the environment the environment and people itself you know i mean it's always a at a risk or at a consequence so I, i i think it's weird I'm sure they have their 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 well thought out fucking little buttoned up reasons why the fuck they doing this shit. Now all of a sudden, every you know what I mean they 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 you know next thing you know it's Sarah Connor trying to save the whole motherfucking human race from 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 the fucking Terminator and shit going on, and and, and we're you know mm. we're, we're basically the ones creating our own destruction. Just and then really that's what we're doing in in everyday life to begin with, and all this shit like you said these fucking chicken farms we could go on and on. I mean we could go. 100 miles and running with this shit. You know what I mean? So it's just horrible. And I think what's worst of all is like they're going to somebody is going to fight for their rights. Somebody is going to fight about, like you said, what is considered life. Um, like when you start getting to the point of like creating something that is humanized like that, to me, I'll say my opinion is you begin to devalue the human like yeah. our natural state of being, we had to actually create it. So when you go in and you're creating like these machines and you're taking away jobs, because eventually if they get good enough and they are like a human, they will become caregivers. They will be in the medical field. They will be stronger than us because they're robots and they will take jobs. And then you like, you're you're forgetting that the further you get along in this, how is that really going to impact human life, period? Then, uh, if they really go too far and start making them like have babies, I'm gonna be like, oh, gross. Stop. Well, think about it also like this: where we're, we're basically making ourselves inferior, or um, you know what I mean? Like we're 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 making ourselves irrelevant by doing stuff like this. I get it. That I, I I don't get it, and I get it really because I feel like a lot of times humanity creates shit that they're not even mentally ready for because they themselves can't even do basic shit like get along and you know what i mean not not be racist and not you know what i mean like they we ain't even mastered how to get along with each other now we're creating whole new things that we're supposed to be around and it's i think it's just a control thing and uh we got it fucked up but uh what do you got Uh, some bullshit we'll see take two you know next time you might see it it might be a robot doing the motherfucking podcast you never fucking know (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> motherfucker might try to take motherfucker might try to take my job and shit. You know what I mean? And uh, I, what we gonna do? You know, we gonna have to do something. I'm, I'm down to fight a robot. Shit. You know what I mean? So am I gonna you get? Don't know am I gonna get? Now you don't know that. I mean, they do a move robot. Kind of, man, you don't know that, man. I mean, let me get some. I, 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 I'm just not gonna fight him with my fist. You got me fucked up. We gotta even out the <laughs> battle of shit. You know, like we gotta play fair or something. Or I gotta have man, the. You gotta uh, come with some steel. I'm gonna run that motherfucker over. <laughs> car, car work. Car will work. <laughs> okay, so what you got, and what you got for me, man, for the here and now? Um, one of the things that um for the here and now that I, I wanted to definitely take just a quick second to acknowledge is I don't know how many people know about Sean King. He's a mm. real big activist. Um, and Sean King um posted something earlier where he was actually um talking about his daughter. His daughter is currently in the hospital and she's suffering from a bank brain injury after being hit by a car. Um, uh, she was in, it was something that happened in uh, Manhattan and the girl was only like 19 years old. So I just really wanted to take a quick second to like, let him know or send prayers out to him. Let him know that we are praying for his daughter to have like a speedy recovery. You know, when it comes to brain injuries, that's like a real big thing. So 
a parent's worst fucking nightmare is, is the yeah. child being hurt and there's not nothing they could do about it. So yeah, I definitely feel you on that. Sending prayers out. Uh, sending prayers out to everyone that's dealing with something similar to that because I I, I don't know. I, I'm blessed and I, I, I just don't know what I would do if I was in that situation. It's, it's devastating, you know? It's like, I don't know if I... I I don't know what 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 I could do. You know what I mean. I'd be so broken down over over it. You know what I mean. So prayers out. Um, did you, by any chance, uh, catch the what's it called Bone Thugs and Three Six Mafia? Um, oh my God! Yes, versus... I watched it. Yes, okay, okay. the verses. Okay, so the verses, right? So I thought it was going good. Like I was hearing a whole bunch of songs and I was like, oh my God, I forgot all about this song. I know that sounds bad, but part of me was thinking that. I don't know where it went left. I don't know. Like I, so I feel like there, it was either a publicity stunt or, okay. So even going back, right. Um, I forgot, uh, wasn't it Crazy Bone that was online and he like had the shotguns and then the police ended up coming to his door and all kind of stuff yes. and everybody was saying he was like on drugs and all this other stuff. That's the stuff, light right? skin one? You talking about the light skin one? Yes. No, that's uh, Busy Bone. Busy, that's his name. All right. Crazy is, the, is, crazy is the main the main tall one. The, the, no, not him. Yeah, so it's Busy. The one that actually so, started the fight the versus, yeah. Yeah, but I feel like, I don't know if it was something in the water. I don't know if maybe... Let me not say that. I don't know what it was, but I felt like, you know, when you online and like when you doing, because remember, they're from the era of like battling. Like, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like talking shit was just a part of the, you know what I'm saying? So I I felt like if there is some background tension, I didn't catch it until all of a sudden he was just like, he don't give a fuck and was just on some other shit, throwing mics and shit. But I didn't see anything that led up to that happening. Do that make sense? Like that's yeah. what I feel like I missed. I was like, I'm lost. Why did that just randomly happen? And even with, I think he said something like, you ain't going to be laughing at me or something. I'm like, what are you talking about? Like, it just felt like it came way out of the blue. Like yeah. I'm lost. What, what's going on with you, bro? I, I know. I know that like how you said, when we're talking about busy bone and stuff, he's had a lot of weird, like, like situations happen to him where he's getting into with people. And, and it just seemed to me like just some, not, not clout chasing, but like just the most, some all, some old making a scene type shit, you know what I mean? Like maybe not. Um, it could be cloud chasing because this he he was you know that stuff with the guns. A lot of that stuff was kind of before the era of people saying cloud chasing, and they're like you know mm -hmm. whatever. They're just like oh he's he's got issues or this and that and other. You know what I mean? Whatever the case might be. Um, I know me personally, I'm not gonna continue to do a show if you just threw a fucking microphone at me, bro. Uh, <laughs> we finna fight. fight. That's it. It's the show's motherfucking over. You you because if you would have hit me. What? What then? I'm a, I'm supposed to just sit, sit there with a lump and be like, oh yeah, let's finish it, man. Let's finish the the, the verses. You got me fucked up. Now, nah. What if? What if? What if it was a cute coin? Like, what what dollar number do you need it to be for you to keep going? Uh, the dollar number would be have to be high, of course. You know, because I mean? we all go. But also, I'm still <laughs> going to sock this nigga. I, I, so this is what's gonna happen. We finna we if that's the case, we finna la 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 do all our shit. And as soon as the motherfucking show's over, everybody's like, thank you guys for coming. I'm gonna rush him. That's how I feel like. <laughs> I need I'm I, I fulfill my obligation. Show's over, I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass because you got me fucked up for trying to throw throw some shit at like you thought let's see that microphone, that shit was heavy, and it kind of looked like he threw it at the ground. Cause if he really wanted to throw it. I was gonna say that too. I said Either his arm is maybe, you know, his arm is weak or that's why I said it may, it may just be a stunt to get attention. Yeah. It, it, because it, it, their, their numbers kinda. weren't as high as other people's. And and I'm not going to I'm not even going to hold you like it's something that, you know, um, it's something that seems staged. And I'm not going to say that maybe the rest of the Bone Thugs people, but like uh, Busy, he got like a reality show. He got a couple other things. He's been known to for like sh having situations like that. So I wouldn't doubt it if he kind of did do, do that. It's just like a power move because you're not going to doing that. You're not going to get that much uh, publicity. Uh, what's it call? I mean, you're not going to get that much boost in views doing that on the spot you feel me because whoever's watching is watching you know right. I'm, I'm sure that uh they probably got a little bump because whoever got seen it got that news out on time that they were fighting and and whatever right. spread out to the masses they probably got a little raise inside their viewership but i think it's the after effects like even now we talking right. about it right now we just bringing it up for the fuck of it but you know just to see what was up 
and get your opinion on it in, in, in Mission Accomplished? I feel like if he is doing it for any form of like a attention seeking reason, I feel like I will be talking shit about you. Cause I'm telling you, like when you look at the throw, it was like, if you really threw it as hard as it hit the ground, like you aimed for the ground. So it honestly, the first thing I thought was, ooh, you know this nigga can't fight. I mean, I, I, hate, I hate to say this term, but when they say threw it like a girl, that's kind of what came to mind when they said that shit. Like he th- the way he threw it under, he softball pitched that shit. It's like, come on, bro. Like <laughs> that shit went straight to the ground. Like you weren't trying to hit nobody. And that's um, what I'm saying. I was like, what is happening? I, I, and he just interrupted. But they also kept going. Like that was the part. It was almost like that was a part of the performance, maybe. So like, you know, in mu- music videos, they have skits, right? So I was like, okay, maybe this is like a skit. Cause it was like a small commotion and then we calm down and then we go back to our regular lives and finish the show. Like, no right? doubt. I, I really think the same thing because now that I'm looking at it and, and, and looking at it from different angles, I really do feel like it was something maybe that they all got on the same page about. Also, you know what I'm curious about? Because when motherfuckers are secure, and they got their bag right and they got their their money and everything their business right um they you don't see them doing this shit they don't need to they you know a lot of times right. people cause these spectacles and stuff like that because they're trying to uh bring attention to something they got going on or they're trying to get their name popping for some reasons to get to get a bag obviously it's all about the money at the end of the day you know I wonder what their contracts are looking like or what their streaming revenues and all that stuff is looking like I wonder what kind of money that they're set up with because also you know they were with ruthless records for their big uh, the majority of their of their uh, career well a big part of their career at the beginning and a lot of those smashes those timeless songs mm-hmm. that you know them by first of the month uh what's it called um for the love of money and stuff like that those were all on ruthless and they weren't great Ru- easy ease x was not great at paying their artists right you know there was so so who knows what kind of percentage of royalties they're getting who knows what kind of uh you know uh anything they're getting from that like so because it, 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 you've seen everybody that's done that versus for the most part a lot of them are well established they have mm-hmm. other businesses and it's rare that any of them if at all are doing any kind of shit like this to get some attention like how many people did you really see that they're like we're gonna fight even gucci man and fucking what's it called sat across from each other and jeezy and they didn't have With a fight. no problem no problem no problem that's why it makes me feel like no. It's kind of set up and it's set up in a way for them to try to like make profit some way off of it, you know? Yeah, that's true. Because the other thing I thought about when I first saw it was, I ain't gonna lie. First thing that ran through my head was, you hella old to be behaving like this. Like that was, that literally was the first thing I thought. Like my my first thought was like, bro, that, that was, that had to be like, what you trying to kill cockroaches and shit, <laughs> throwing it at the ground and shit. You trying to hit a mouse. You know, did you, you you trying to fuck somebody's shoe up? Like, what, and see, I feel like if anybody brought that up to him, like, man, you throw like a bitch. First thing he going to say is, I was drunk. That's what he going to I feel like anytime somebody do something like that, they always throw out the, I was drunk. I couldn't see. Like, I just, I don't know. Blame it on I something. Just, <laughs> you better blame it on something because you definitely not getting the invite to go to play quarterback on my flag football team. You know what I'm saying? You gonna have ever? To, yeah. You know what I'm you ain't never like, gonna we ain't never gonna get a touchdown fucking with you. I'm just saying, if you're going to do something as a publicity stunt, don't make yourself the ass of all the jokes in the process. That's a fact. And don't then do I was looking yourself. at the outfit, and I was just like, "You dress like you probably out here <laughs> still cutting up. It's cool." <laughs> that's crazy yeah that's uh, i don't know like i said man and that's another thing it's like bro y'all too old to be having these little sissy ass fights type like this you know what i mean if y'all go fight I, y'all should at least chunk them though on stage and make that shit be like yo respect now you look like a come on now you look crazy but more importantly so listen Excuse me. if you're going to i feel like you know that you already have like an audience and you know that you've been in the limelight for many years the least you can do is teach these younger people how to get a bag so if you're going to be out here fighting, make sure that that shit is on pay-per-view or something so you can profit off of it. You just did that shit for the fuck of it. They would Not never, just. they would, they would, ne- they got too much ego and they're too much considered legends to ever want to step in the ring like that. Maybe one party would, but both would never agree because somebody is not going to want to get beat up. Somebody got to lose. You do know what I'm yeah. saying? And 
Also, I really was questioning, like, I really felt like all group members don't actually have a problem. I, well, that's the best way that I can word it. I think I feel like all of them are not on that same ghetto ass mentality that like, don't get me wrong. They probably with the shit when they gotta be, but everybody did not respond. Like they ready to be out here with the shits. Like this don't go beyond. Because they dumbass. grown ass men, man. They, they, they're grown <laughs> ass men. They grown ass businessmen at that. It's like, you really going to be on here doing some stupid ass shit for the whole world to see. It's like, that's another thing. It's like, it, what made it kind of weird is like, why y'all acting like this? It's like, y'all not even from this generation where this shit was, is, it, it originates right. from. So it's like, why, you know, y'all are OGs. Y'all, the, the hats are off to y'all already. You know what I mean? Y'all supposed to go on there. Cause remember when Jada, the locks and fucking, um, and Dipset did theirs, they didn't have no confrontation. They had a little moment where they were getting chippy and shit and talking shit to each other. But the, the main thing is what people walked away from was the performances. The songs, whose energy, like they're supposed to go on there and tear it down and let the let the craft and let the music speak for itself, and that's what's gonna get you that that talk after the after the whole thing happens. That's what's gonna get you that new uh, shot of energy towards uh, you know people being excited toward towards your contribution to hip hop and shit or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So I just thought it was kind of weird. And that's my point. They come from an era where you know being outside and shooting shit is normal. So that's why I couldn't understand why you was acting like your panties was in a bunch. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That's why I was like, maybe he drunk. And then when know. he threw it, it at the it, floor, I was like, man, my son is 11 and or 10. Ooh, shit, he's 10. <laughs> and okay. even he, he can throw harder than that. I don't know, I don't I don't get it. This shit, this shit is just, it just look fake. It looked phony and it looked it looked cheap, man. It just I just come on now, like y'all do better. And I can't say to all because everybody didn't in partake in it, you know what I mean? But just just that situation, like that specific part of it. The, the rest of it, from what I seen, I seen some of the the clips because I didn't watch the whole thing. It, it was pretty dope though. So either way, shout out no, both really thugs, shout out them. shout out three six mafia. They are definitely legends doing what they do. Uh, what else do you got for us, Ann? Um. So the other thing I have is. I really need to know if this was you. Me? So, I, yes, if this was you, if you were a plumber. Oh, okay, okay. Say you're doing your job, you doing your due diligence to make I, sure. I, I mean, I am a plumber job. in some capacity, you know. <laughs> you know we, you gotta, yes, you know what I'm saying? But so. that's not that's not giving you this. I mean, it's giving you something good. I mean, I mean, I mean, I don't think there's too many people that it gives it that at all. So go ahead, <laughs> go ahead, go ahead. So people know what we're talking about. But so there was a plumber that found $600,000 in cash and checks inside the wall of Joel Olstein's um, uh, mega church. And I'm inside just trying to figure out, I guess he gave it back and he didn't get a reward. And I was just like, I would not. You know why? Cause the, cause the Lord thinks him. <laughs> but who had that building before that, before it became a mega church? No That's idea. That's what I want to know. Exactly. We don't know that that the, that money really came. And on top of that, what was it doing um, in the wall? What are y'all hide? Like, come on, man. I, they would never know, that. man. Even you if they would have got is. some of it, they wouldn't have got all of it from me. I, they definitely wouldn't have got out of living for me. I would have been like, this is all I found. You know what I mean? I, and that's after I done walked my ass to the <laughs> truck and put some of it away. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Like, like hold on. Like, oh, Let me oh, put my oh, bag up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. I'm, and I'm not stupid. So I'm going I'm to I'm try. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call somebody and be like, hey, bro, come in real quick. You know what I mean? I'm going to throw some in your car so you can get <laughs> out of here. You know? Because, you know, like. I don't know what I can't say what the race or the ethnicity is of this gentleman, but you know if it was someone that looked like me and you, you know, Man. we probably would have got we would have got searched for sure. Our, our vehicle would have got searched, and they would have been taking a real close look at our finances to make sure that we didn't, you know, even if we did turn it in. Because at the end of the day, I really feel like it was him. To be honest with you, my theory on that is he was it was him. He's like, yo, I'm trying to keep this tax free trying to hide this, I'm gonna stuff it in the walls, or maybe he had a vent somewhere where he was sticking it at or something, you know, and it ended up falling and falling falling down to the crack uh, of the walls. Well, Cause you know, walls are it's just like, so it's a little space in between them, so. Well, see, the thing is, so this is the reason why I said that the, like something fishy is happening. So, you know, this started off as like them saying money was missing from the church. Oh shit. And, yeah, so it's, and this happened, I think in 2014. So 
the they were complaining about the missing money since 2014. First of all, checks expired, so we ain't even gonna count those. Really, I wouldn't. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, all like that's the part that throws me off. The money supposedly came up missing back in 2014 when they were being audited or whatever. However, they tried to realize that definitely the money was audited. Missing. Then recently, all of a sudden, ha! There's a plumber, and the plumber found it. A bunch of envelopes with checks and money inside of it. Like what? That's what I'm saying. Man, y'all was doing something faulty anyway. So the devil sent me in here to make sure that I help you pay your dues. And I get my share. Yes, I'm just trying to help you. I'm 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 God's child. You feel me? So you know, (laughs) I just come to get that that child support. But look. I think I really think that it was him or somebody had to do with it. You know, the finances, they're like, we're going to stash this. We're going to stash it in the wall or we're going to stash it here. And we're just going to act like it disappeared, whatever. I don't know what happened. No one will have it. And if anything should ever happen, that's like his emergency, which makes me feel like already, like you said, if some some foul about it, because it's like, why are you hiding money? You're a church. God, you know, why do you? It, it, it sounded like he had his escape to another country money. You know what I mean? Like if something happened and he was, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, what? Seriously. Cause you know, they also got, um, I think it said Houston PD. Mm -hmm. The Houston police is currently investigating the funds because, um, because of the fact that this money supposedly came up missing and then all of a sudden this plumber found it. Um, his name was Justin. I'm just saying, Justin, if you got a reward, I ain't married. I'm saying, and, and <laughs> if you got the reward and want to be the prize, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? That's what she's trying to tell you, bro. So watch yourself yeah. out there, Justin. I'll help you. You know what I'm saying? Watch yourself. You know what I mean? She's but, out yeah, there honestly, I feel like this is probably something. <laughs> yeah. This is, again, the reason why people, like, this is all speculation. But realistically, you know, when people come up in the news and they're supposed to say, they're supposed to be doing certain things. My question is, if the envelope, first of all, they were still in the envelopes. Let's start there. The um, Even though they were still in the envelopes, they were in the wall, the wall was plastered. So that means somebody had to go out of their way to like put them somehow in the wall and make sure that visually it doesn't look like there's an issue. Yeah, and, and how so can that you, gotta how can let you, you know something smirky is going on. Yeah, because how can you do that without nobody there knowing? Right. How you exactly. how you got the whole wall? Now, even if they did like they renovated recently, it's still it's like come on now, how the fuck you not know this shit is going on in your own spot? It just don't seem right. And and the way they be taking advantage of folks and stuff like that, I, I you know, it, it's it's ridiculous that that much money was found and that they um they didn't give dude no reward and they don't have no explanation. Yeah. They don't have ex- no explanation either. I don't know. I mean, I, I'm sure that there there's going to be some follow up uh, information coming out. But as of now, they, they don't really that I know of or that I read. They ain't got no explanation of where where the money came from. So it's like nope. But the and f- they also I mean? said that somebody in one of the articles that I read said that a reward was offered and he said no. Supposedly, I don't know if like I feel like we don't know if this plumber actually is like a cousin or uncle. You know, like if I go and call my cousin Blue Cat, oh Super like, Mario, fucking plumber you ass, dummy ass, how you not gonna want no fucking reward? You got me fucked up. I'm over here changing your shitter, and you fucking tell me I don't need this money. Come on now, I, I don't know. I can't tell. I can't judge people. Maybe he's a church going fella, and he feels like you know what I'm saying he did his uh his penance for 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 the good Lord. You know what I mean? But but I, I'm like you know that what the, the Lord the knows Lord my trying heart. Trying to bless him exactly. The, 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 the Lord knows my heart, so you know what I'm saying. If I take this little <laughs> bit of money, just know that I, I would deeply within my heart i was gonna enjoy it man the lord knows my heart but he also knows my bills okay? he knows, so he knows know. my pocket so he know i do this <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> I'm, I'm not wouldn't nobody be you know i'm listen they wouldn't even it out of six hundred thousand. i would actually let them keep all the checks that's just crazy I'd, yeah i'd have been like yeah i found this bag of checks <laughs> <laughs> i found this bag of checks in the, in the wall over here i don't know where you know what I'm they're saying, expired you know, because keep in mind, you... if this happened in 2014, checks usually expire after like 160 days, so they're expired. But I did find them, and I want to believe this. Here you go. I want to go. I'm saying the cash. I don't know. There wasn't no cash. I didn't see. No, yeah, I ain't see no fucking cash. <laughs> What's those emojis where you got the monkey and it's like this? And yeah, then exactly. Is, and exactly. Like this. Here, see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. Like I don't know. You know what I'm saying? That's between me and God. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I, well, Next shit. day you quit your job, like mm. 
I ain't gonna be able to make it. They got me fucked up, man. Straight up. <laughs> I, I definitely I I wouldn't quit. I would just slowly like start fucking up little by little till they fire me. You know what I mean? Because then they can't be like he's suspicious. I'm like nah, it's suspicious. These motherfuckers just didn't want me no more. Yeah, you know I mean, hey, as opposed and then to just you know quitting. you can still collect unemployment too. Get my unemployment. I'm I'm doing all that. I need all my money. Fuck that. And then as soon as my unemployment <laughs> run out, I'm, I'm gone. You know, buy me some shit. And we out of here. You know what I'm saying? So look, we're gonna keep it moving. You know, already that's the here and now. This uh, the zoom zoom zooms. You know what I'm saying? You know, the the zoom, zoom, zoom. This is uh, just a fucking quick little shot, you know, and we, you know, the life moves fast. I did a dope ass podcast with uh, Dope Flavors, a local legitimate cannabis um, entrepreneur. So he came, mm. he, pulled, he pulled up on us. So we, we definitely got some dope content. This is going to drop in the middle of the week for people because, you know, with us and him, it was more game. You got to listen to this episode coming up, the one with, with us and him, because uh, it's, it's a lot of game. Uh, he's a very intelligent dude. He's studied in his field as far as the industry and what, you know, he, and he's he's really into social equity. Mm. You know, that's, that's kind of something that me and you and people that look like us could definitely, definitely get into and definitely need to be a part of. And uh, it's a real dope episode. So we're going to keep it moving. We're going to do the Put You Up On Game segment real quick. Uh, and you got something for the Put You Up On Game. I know you was talking about the, uh, the event party space. So let me know what they talking about. Yes, so the event space network. Um, I just I, I want to reiterate that if you are an entrepreneur, um, first of all, if you ever want a space where you can actually, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if you need a space where you want to host a party or anything like that, they do do that. But also, the event space network also gives you the option to do. Um, they have a, a entrepreneurs networking event. And they do it every Wednesday. Um, literally, it's been every Wednesday. I keep saying I'm going to pull up on them. I keep running into situations. But I always see the pictures. It looks like it'd be lit. Um, it's an opportunity for local and even people that's not necessarily in this area, but entrepreneurs nonetheless, to come together and actually talk with like-minded individuals. Also, an opportunity to network with people that may if you're in one field, they may be in another where you guys can actually partner or be an asset to each other. Um, and it's called the Entrepreneur Club. They do it every single Wednesday from 6 to 9 p.m. And the address where you can go is 62 East 4th Street in Pittsburgh. Um, but if you want to RSVP, you can text Mixer to 844-389-8824. And it'll actually, once you text it, it'll give you the um, RSVP for the next one. But it's actually a really dope thing that they're doing. And they've really been consistent with making sure that they're showing up and showing out every single Wednesday. So big ups to them. Most definitely. Very, very, very dope, dope. Shout out to the networking event space. They do uh, their thing. And I've been seeing a lot of them. You know, we the, the Instagram account follows them. So we be, I mean, I'm, I'm watching shit. I need to make it to, I really do need to make it to one of the events though, too, because that definitely is the place for an entrepreneur to be at. You know, the, you when you, when you want to be in the ocean or you want, you know, you're a shark, you swim with sharks. Or if you're a whale, you swim with whales. You do what I'm saying? So it's a great place for somebody that's striving to uh, uh, have a, their own business to be an entrepreneur to go i'm pretty sure and get some game you know what i mean rub elbows with people with like like-minded individuals so um that is super dope shout out to them i got to definitely shout out my partner saints kicks you know what i'm saying my folks my people saints kicks uh definitely out there doing stuff always does stuff for the community and now he has his second location opened up in Concord. You know what I mean? So Saints Kicks, in yes. case you didn't know, he had he is the guy that I go to to get all my uh, exclusive sneakers. You know, nowadays it's tough to go and walk in the store and grab some some particular types of shoes, Jordans, Yeezys, and other streetwear um, pieces. It's hard to pick them up. You know, a lot of times the lines are out the door. It's ridiculous. You're, you're lucky if you get what you look for. Um, that's why we, I got Saints Kicks. You know what I mean? I got Saints Kicks. He goes, he could do it. He gets it done. He somehow finds a way to get these, get a hold of these particular items. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I go, I, that's why I go get my shit. Man, that's the best way I could describe it. He has two locations. You know what I'm saying? We are in the Northern California area. So his first location was 650 Port Chicago Highway, Bay, Bay Point, California. But we call it West Pittsburgh. You know what I'm saying? We can always call it e that. Uh, that's his first location, and then he just opened a brand new 
location in Concord, California. That's 1790 Willow Pass Road, Concord, California. You can walk in, you just look, stare at the merchandise for all you people that, that you know, you, you fuck with the online shopping, but you really like the experience of going in and, and, and grabbing the stuff. He has all kinds of dope inventory, uh, vintage, streetwear, current, Nikes, Jordans, Yeezys, you name it, all kinds of different pieces, Supreme. You, you name it, he fucks with it. And and the uh, second location in Concord is a very much, uh, it's a more expanded location. So he has more merchandise, more stuff to offer. Uh, some suckers. Uh, this is this is the cool part too. I want to uh, uh, put it out there. You know, they recently broke into his brand new spot, brand new establishment, and they stole a bunch of shit. And you got to understand, this kind of pisses me off because it's like, this dude's a really good dude. He always does stuff for the community. He doesn't just like, oh, I make my money over here. He does stuff for the community, giveaways. They have the video. They released the video of the people breaking in and stealing all the shit. They were, of course, masked up. You couldn't see. But this is the fucked up part about it. You know, like, besides the whole situation, it's like the vid, the, the optics of it. It's like you, you got these guys walking out with all this merchandise, and they're walking right past these bins. And these bins are for toy drives. You know, the toy drives for, for uh, you know, needy people in the community and stuff. Like, this is the kind of dude he is, and this is the kind of bullshit that people do. And I know, like, we were talking about the smash and grab and all that other shit in the last mm -hmm. episode. And it's like, look, uh, people, I, I get it. You're frustrated. You're trying to get some money, come up on something. If you're going to smash and grab, man, stay the fuck away from the the entrepreneur, the the person from the, from, from the area, you know, the... the 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 small business like if you're gonna do it go get a corporation man i'm not encouraging none of this shit but if you're gonna do something go you know you ain't hurting louis vuitton x you ain't hurting fucking gucci or whatever the story the story might be like that but when you when you do the mom and pops and you do the people that are that are actually give a fuck about your community give a fuck about your grandma give a fuck about your mama doing toy drives and turkey drives and coat drives and stuff like that and giving back us like that's some bullshit you feel me we got to do fucking better than that you know um, but shout out to Saints did Kids. they like figure I said, out who it was or no. They haven't figured out who it was and they're pretty messed up. So unless they did some bonehead shit or they're just out there, you know, putting the merchandise out there just to where anybody and anybody can see it, then, it, 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 you know, they probably won't catch him because it's closed. So it's not like it's um, not not like you could necessarily prove that it didn't come from there or it did come from there. Like a motherfucker might jump oh, on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So and, and then nowadays on top of that, let's let's keep it real. You know, when it comes to shit like that, anybody and everybody's going to want to buy it if it's at a jug. You know what I mean? Just because it's the holidays. and You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it's unfortunate, but we keeping it real. So uh, the way, the best way to combat that, yo, is to go out there and support. Make sure you buy small business this year for your, for Christmas. I'm sure you got stuff, big ticket items that you want, but make sure that you go buy small business and you go spend that money with them and people that actually put that money back into the community, not siphon it off somewhere into some other places where you'll never probably see the residual effect from it you know you can find saints kicks on instagram at saints underscore kicks and then you can of course you can go to their locations you know spend that money spend it in the right place y'all this is the no invite podcast you can find us on instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast you could also subscribe to the youtube channel which i would love for y'all to do that helps us out the most Subscribe to the YouTube channel it's rebirth media films that's r-i-b-i-r-t-h media films with a z Make sure that you guys subscribe there. Drop a comment. Uh, I, I've been loving the engagement. I, I I made a link. It's kind of like Linktree. It's called Solo, though. It's called Solo, right? And it's basically, it, it's a new link where you click on it in our bio and a bunch of links pop up after that. You know how when you, mm. you only have your link in bio, you could only really see one thing at a time. So um, mm. I, I, I went to the website. I created uh, one for ourselves. I really like it because once you click on it on your phone, it takes you instead of opening up the web browser to take you to that site. It take if you have the app on your phone already, it opens you up in the app. So, for instance, you ever get a YouTube link somebody sent you on Instagram? You click on it, and it's the web browser. It's not the YouTube app, so it's kind of like oh, yeah. kind of harder for you to see it. It takes longer, and it's kind of mm -hmm. not as a great uh, a great feel. Well, this uh, link in our bio is specifically I, I I picked it specifically for the no invite 
so that it could take you if you have the app it'll open it in the app before it has to open it inside the what's it called the, right. inside the, in the, in the browser. browser exactly so you mm -hmm. get a better experience when you click on something you go right to it you're able to click on it and check out the the next episodes uh subscribe you ain't got to log in you ain't got to do nothing like that so make sure that you guys check that out make sure that you follow Anne uh on her uh you know saying instagram that she's supposed to have for me today but you know she don't so this is week three that she's saying she gonna do it we're gonna start listen, we're, gonna start, we're gonna start a countdown it's the holidays you can't blame me because like after this it'd be like the kids and the packing and the job and then you gotta like put the toys up so they don't see them or like the little i ain't gonna lie i did buy something for somebody that i think i'm gonna keep for myself well, you do what you got to do. I ain't even mad at you. You know what I'm saying? But it's the holiday season. It's not my fault. I ain't even mad at you. <laughs> I ain't even mad at you at all. So look, this is the Know About Podcast. We're going to keep it moving. And I appreciate you once again. The best kept secret in the building. Well, not in the building, but in the S in, in, in the spirit. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you for doing this, taking this time out. We're going to wrap this shit up. Episode 63 is out the door. You know, zoom, zoom, zoom on that ass. You feel me? We're going to get it going. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Let's <laughs> go.